Good morning, good morning, good morning. Actually, it's good afternoon because I've been working all morning. Today's the day. I leave in the van. I'm just getting champ right now, saying goodbye to the family. Had a nice dinner at Pho last night. Had all my friends and family there. That's it. Off to Toronto. Tomorrow morning I have an interview at 5 a.m. for some, like, morning television show. That's the, th that's the neat thing about, like, the medium I work in. I can get this big shot. Like, the other day I was front page news across, like, a bunch of newspapers. No new subscribers at all. Same thing. I'm going to do this TV show. No one's going to notice. But it's cool because I get to be on live TV. So, I'm just going to do it because then I get to say I was on TV. Maybe I'll get a recording and I'll post it tomorrow. That'll be cool. Champ, are you ready to go or what? Oh, Champ, we gotta go. Champ, don't leave. No, just get, 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 stop don't it. No, he's gotta go. He's got. You can't, you, come on, we gotta go. Don't eat too many treats. Yeah. They're kind of like, all right, Simon, smell you later. But like Champ, they're like heartbroken that he's leaving. No. Oh, that's not true. That's totally no, true. No, no, no. I'm going to be on TV, and uh, we don't actually know anybody who has a cable connection. Because <laughs> it's 2016, so... Netflix? It's, uh, it's going to be on Netflix? No, it's not Netflix. It's not YouTube. Uh, it's plugging into the wall. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just steps out the door. Goodbye, family. Goodbye. Every time we leave the door, every time somebody leaves the door, they go... Make new friends, learn something, go out there, make a difference. Ooh. The best part is, is it's like wholly sarcastic in my family, and yet, you know, I'm actually going to go do that now. Yeah, you are. Goodbye, you bunch of losers. <laughs> Leaving this time has a much more bitter sting than last time. Partly because I'm going on my own, partly because... I know now what I'm going to be missing, like when I came back this last time I realized like how much I had missed my family, how much stuff had happened, you know, I might come back, my sister might be having a kid or, you know, like might have moved and might have done all kinds of stuff with their lives and I wasn't there to see any of it. Uh, I'm still leaving, I still want to go and do this, but you start to really feel it after a while. Come on, buddy. This is home now. I know you've forgotten. Let's do this. Come on. Oh. You're gonna wait all day. Oh yeah, he's gonna sniff everything. Buddy. Ready to do this? Ironically, doing it alone is actually a lot less stress, but I think it's just like when you're in a relationship and you're doing something together, you have this mentality, this momentum, right? where you know that each decision you make isn't really your own and it's it's impartial, like it's part of a couple that you're doing and it's a team decision and there's a little bit of unaccountability in that so now I'm fully accountable for every decision in my mind at least ways and uh, there's a bit more pressure you know to really like make sure I'm doing the right thing and make sure I'm making it worthwhile and I think that's what's scaring me right now because I've never been one to plan stuff out. I've never been one to really have a proper functioning plan before I head out. And uh, it's always worked out, but I think I've just been lucky, you know? Like eventually my luck is gonna run out. It's just making me nervous. Kinda wish I could explain to Champ just like the significance of what just happened. I don't think he gets it. Oh well, he'll figure it out eventually. As you can see, there's well, some stuff everywhere. Champ's really liking his new bed. We, we uh, redid the whole bed 
as soon as we got back to Ottawa and he hadn't really put it in the van. It's a lot nicer now. And then, uh, you know, we're falling into stride a little bit, getting back into the jam. Champ is loving being back in the van. He's just like all smiles, big excitement. You know, he, he's loving it. The first time I pulled over and, and let him out the door and he's just like jumping up and down all over the place. He's so excited. So, you're not the only one, Champ. I'm feeling it too. Believe it or not, I'm at a like a truck stop right now and I was halfway through the lineup of the coffee shop before I remembered that I have coffee and sandwiches and I can like make my own food because I'm just used to the motorcycle. I'm like, I'm on a road trip. Of course, I'm on the motorbike. Nope. You know, not all there yet. Still, start, still, uh, still setting in. Gentle. 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 Good boy. All right, the van is surging, or it's cutting out, but if you look closely, so I lay on the gas, it's fine. And then down here, watch the gas meter. I just filled it up, let off the gas, and watch, the gas meter just drops. It starts, yeah, they're like... Well, hopefully it's nothing major. I have a theory that uh, I forgot to tighten the battery terminal when I got back to the van. And I've been fine so far, because I haven't really been driving the highway with this thing, but... Now I'm on the highway, there's a lot of wind, maybe it's not gonna loose. So I'm gonna pull over next chance I get and I'm gonna check it out, see if that fixes it. Yeah, well that definitely wasn't it. Um, just got down the road again and it's surging worse than ever. Really hope some electronic component is about isn't about to fail. I really hope it's just a connection because I need to get to Toronto and I'm still a solid two to three hours out. It always does this at the worst possible time. Okay, so I checked all of the grounds and I checked the positive terminal. It was a little loose, but nope, hasn't fixed it. So it looks like some component's about to go. I gotta keep pushing it and hope I get to Toronto and then go to a mechanic there because if I get stranded out here I'm really foobard either way I might as well just spend the night on the side of the damn road oh, yeah, it's getting worse it's getting worse I'm, I'm gonna screw myself here why does it always do this? the only times it's ever freaking broken down on this trip is when I've had a deadline Toronto is Canada's biggest city. Something like 12% of all Canadians live in this city. This city does not sleep. The rush hour extends to hours where there is no sun. It's all day, all night. There's always rush hour. I'm stuck in traffic right now. It is about 8 p.m. Um, the sun has set quite a while ago. Toronto, man. It's pretty much the opposite of the life I want to live. It's just... It's kind of like New York, you know? If you're Casey Neistat and you've got something you gotta do, then a city like Toronto works, you know? Vancouver doesn't feel like this at all. Toronto, it's like hustle, hustle, hustle. I'll get through it. I'm only gonna be here for a few days and then, you know, maybe I'll even miss it. All right, we're doing okay. I got myself a nice little spot here. I am downtown Toronto. I'm on like a side street, almost an alleyway. Not too much foot traffic. I mean, for Toronto. I'm gonna do some cleanup in here and get ready for tomorrow. And then uh, I think, you know, I was gonna make dinner, I was gonna take it easy, I am feeling sick. But I think Champ and I are gonna go out for a walk and we're gonna go see what we can find for some late night food. Because honestly, 
if you're gonna be in a metropolis, you might as well profit off it. All right, let's go check it out, Joe. favorite but it's okay. Got some burritos. It's pretty, they look pretty good for a fast food chain. I was kind of sick and tired of walking around. And it occurred to me that any place that's good I'll probably have to go inside and you know champ. And anyway, it's not his favorite kind of food. He's a big pizza fiend if you don't know that about champ. Huge about the pizza but uh, I'm huge about burritos so you know we're gonna have to do that tonight. Pizza next night. Okay, I just tucked Champ away in the van right behind me, as you can see, and I'm gonna go down to the coffee shop nearby and do some work. The good, the key to a good stealth camping t night is, um, you gotta put the van somewhere, and then you gotta make sure that people can see that it's empty. Okay? So, like, I leave all my windows uncovered. I go and I, when I park up, I, I go out and I do stuff, and I'm, I'm out all night. I come back and I crash right away. And I've never had a problem. As long as I do that, never had a problem. If you overstay your welcome a little bit, maybe you have a problem. Although, to be honest, this shit's way really, really easy. <laughs> I got that editing done. I had like an hour and ten minutes and I edited a ten minute episode, which for me is super quick. So I'm getting good at this. Maybe I need to get back into the game. I need to do more time lapses and more drone footage and you know trick it out a little bit. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to the van, crawl right into bed, and go to sleep because I have to be up tomorrow morning at like 4.30 because these guys got to do all their prep in the parking lot and they want to get everything ready. I'm going to try and vlog some of it tomorrow. It should be quite interesting. It will have already aired, so maybe I'll get a digital copy and share it here on the channel, hopefully. Okay, good night. <laughs>